I just woke up and all I see is Matt out there doing some yoga poses and I'm thinking, you know, it, it's time to go. But getting Matt to leave may be Joe's biggest challenge. There's no doubt Matt is engrossed in the beauty of this place, but I'm not here to camp, I'm not here to do yoga. I want to get out of here. Nepal's Himalaya mountain range is home to nine of the 10 highest peaks on the planet. With wild terrain like this, you also have wild animals. You've got leopards, jackals, and bears here. The treacherous terrain features make a deadly recipe. These serene mountains can quickly become their undoing. There's a lot of potential for avalanches, altitude sickness, and all kinds of climbing accidents happen out here in the Himalayas. They were up here, huh? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. I almost have to laugh at this. That's not even a backpack. That's a purse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we have. Candle, but that's not a normal wick, is it? Nope, it's an electric one. Who would bring an electric candle out in the woods? The more things Matt's pulling out, the more I'm thinking, what a bunch of dumb these guys are my cup of tea. Hmm. Doesn't Matt just calm the spirits? Oh, yeah, dude, I'm as calm as he comes. Right now, Matt is in his element. He loves yoga. He loves the spirituality of the outdoors, and this is the place to do it in. So I'm going to have to keep him on a short leash, like about that long. With the decision to move downhill toward the mountains, Joe and Matt begin the arduous journey through the Himalayan landscape. Looks like we're gonna be able to take down some brush here, Matt. You hearing that? Yeah, that's definitely a creek or something. Yeah, right down there. Let's check it out, dude. Yeah. Don't do it. I know what you're thinking. Pure Himalayan water. Looking at this creek, I feel pretty good about drinking it, but it's a risk no matter what, because upstream, you never know what there is. Could be a dead animal laying in there. This is definitely one of the drainages we saw from up above. Yeah, for sure. Want to just follow it out? Yeah, maybe we'll find a spring down below. All right. Joe. Wow. We just need to stay off those rocks. Look at that. It's getting a little slick. Yeah. Slippery. It's slippery right there. All right. Hey, even ninjas fall once in a while. Damn. You got to be kidding me. Where in the hell did the water go? This stream just peters out. It just turns into nothing. Why don't we just keep heading down? Dude, first available spot, let's just shelter. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, man. The only cats here that would make an impression like that are leopards. This is clearly a big cat. It's a good five feet off the ground. This is a wake up call. We need to really start looking behind us to the sides and trees. Let's keep going. Yeah. that? You see that? Up in the tree? Oh, yeah. Oh, this cat that's in the area hunted down a boar and drug its carcass at least 20 feet in a tree. That was a big cat to drag that thing up there. I can't tell from down here, but I think I should climb up there, man. Chuck that thing down and see if there's meat on it. Just take it with us. I think Joe's growling stomach is getting the better of his judgment. I mean, just looking at how much is left, I'd assume that that's pretty rancid by now. Well, dude, there's only one way to find out. Instead of standing here talking about it, I'm just going to do it. Wow, this thing's torn to pieces, dude. Matt's like, Joe, leave it alone. It's the cat's food and all this Here it comes. I could give a damn about the cat. We need food. What do you think? Ooh. Is it bad? That's definitely been up there for a long time. Damn, that sucks, because there is some meat on here. Are you going to go put it back up there for the pussy cat? I don't think so. That cat can do it its damn self. That sucks. Let's get out of here. Matt, look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's get down there. Whoa. Did you see someone? No, but I saw a rat. There's some old rat holes out here as well. As I'm looking in the front door of this place, it's very obvious. <sighs> if there's more rats and there's poop all over the ground, that's so what I'm thinking. 
is if I can make some kind of smoke bomb, throw it in the door and smoke these rats out through maybe a funnel area, maybe the front door using that because they can't get out anywhere else and just catch them in some kind of containment. And we've got food, bro. I just feel like there's gonna be a better use of our time to go out, gather some food, maybe hunt something a little bit tastier than these, these rats. And I don't know, I'm not real down for the spec ops rat raid. With a plan in place, Matt heads off to gather wood for a friction fire, while Joe collects materials to build his smoke bombs. This is kind of what I'm looking for. This is dried buffalo c And it's obviously they roam up here from time to time and they graze. I know this stuff burns like mad. I'm gonna make a c sandwich. <laughs> Mm-mm. Don't that just look yummy? I'm just gonna use some of this cordage. I'm gonna wrap it up like a present. I'm gonna go make two more of these, and I think that'll be more than enough smoke to smoke out that building. Hopefully Matt's got a fire going. It's coming along super easy. I've got this fire blazing. Joe's gonna be able to make some smoke bombs, so I'm gonna do what I can to make this all happen. Let's make a good funnel for the trap. I pulled off the wire mesh out of one of the windows, and I've got the yoga mat, so I'm gonna make a long funnel that's gonna come into this cage, and hopefully they'll be stuck in there. I've got the door sealed off pretty well right now, so anything that's gonna try to come out from the inside is gonna barrel through here, get stuck in this funnel, and we can kill them when they're inside here. How's it coming, man? It's good, yeah, I think, uh, I, think I sealed it off pretty well, so. All I need to do is light them, and we're good to go. Oh, yeah. How, how much more time do you need? I'm ready. You are? OK. All I'm going to do is go light these things and chuck them inside. All right. Oh, yeah. Fire in the hole. Listen, dude, listen. Oh, Dude. Oh. Yeah. Don't let them get back in. Oh, get up here. Shut up. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, now we got them both in there. Oh, yeah, close up the exit. Put your foot there. Nice. I knew this would work, dude. Nice. Oh, yeah. They ain't going nowhere, except in our stomach. All right, well, you do the honors. I'll go ahead and make the shelter. Done deal. Oh, my god, this is a nest. The backside of this hut's gonna be ideal for us to put up a little shelter. The bonus is that we're already partially protected. Framework's in place, and it's got a little bit of an overhang from the roof. Hey, Matt, how do you like your rat? Cooks. Done deal. Yeah, I'll keep on it. Cool. Yeah. I have to admit, I, I didn't think this plan was going to work. I didn't really? Think, I didn't think we'd actually be sitting here eating rat tonight. Came up with a good plan and executed, brother. It's all the details, you know? I guess I'll go on a smoke grenade mission with you anytime. <laughs> I just woke up, and all I see is Matt out there doing some yoga poses, and I'm thinking, you know, it, it's time to go. What's up, man? <clears throat> hey. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just a little yoga. Come join me. Um, I, th I think you're doing good enough for both of us, man. <laughs> There's no doubt that Matt is engrossed in the beauty of this place, and I have to admit, it is very beautiful, but I'm not here to camp. I'm not here to do yoga. <laughs> I want to get out of here, so Matt needs to wrap up his mat, and Matt needs to get out of here with me. There's no going back for Matt and I. We've backtracked more than a few times. I just want to go down, and hopefully Lady Luck will be in our favor, and we'll bump into somebody. Let's scoot through here. What is that? It sounds like, like horns. Dude, go up there. Oh. 
This guy's in red robes. What the hell? Hello? Dude, that's a Buddhist temple. Let's get down there. 